Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast interview with the deputy of the Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, Simon Taronyan. The Ombudsman of Armenia and Artsakh published a joint report on the atrocities committed by the Azerbaijani Armed Forces. UN assessment mission will arrive in Artsakh in mid-December. Lavrov, European Union says Turkey's behavior is getting worse. Biden's assistance considered the return of the United States to the nuclear deal with the Iran possible. With the drying up of Lake Van, the largest corals emerge. On Western Armenia TV, the deputy of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Simon Taronyan, presented what steps he has taken in the parliament connected with the Artsakh war. What are his plans for the near future? He also referred to the protests carried out by Armenians in Europe and the general situation in various European cities with a large number of Armenians in the post-war period. You can watch the whole interview on our official YouTube channel. Human rights defenders of Armenia and Artsakh Arman Tatoyan and Artak Beglarian have released a new joint report on organized hate speech and hostility towards ethnic Armenians in Azerbaijan as root causes of ethnically based torture and inhuman treatment by Azerbaijani armed forces. The report justified Azerbaijani policy of ethnic cleansing and genocide policy through terroristic methods. The report proves that Azerbaijani atrocities, torture and inhuman treatment of this war are results of years of hostility, propaganda and organized policy of hatred towards Armenians, Tatoyan wrote on Facebook page. Azerbaijani soldiers are well aware that torturing Armenians will not only make them unpunished, but they will be praised by the authorities and the public, he said. Sharing some parts of the report, the Ombudsman said it will be sent to international bodies. The UN assessment mission on Artsakh will leave for the region in mid-December. The statement came from Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, Ria Novosti reported. The UN Secretary General is currently preparing an assessment mission which will include special sections of the UN system and programs. They are expected to send it there in mid-December, Lavrov told during the conference after talks with Armenian Foreign Minister Ara Ayvazian. The foreign ministers of the 27 European member states have concluded that Turkey's behavior has worsened. This was announced by the head of the European Union diplomacy, Josip Borrell, test reports. The ministers agreed that there is no radical change in Turkey's behavior. On the contrary, it worsened to some extent. Evolution is not possible, Borrell said. He clarified that it will be discussed at the summit of heads of state and government, which will take place from December 10 to 11. The administration of newly elected U.S. President Joseph Biden is considering the return of participants in the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action on Iran's nuclear program as a basis for further negotiations with Tehran on more global issues. This was announced by Jack Sullivan in an interview with The Wall Street Journal on December 7, whom Biden nominated for the post of assistant on the President on National Security. According to him, the return of the United States to the nuclear deal and the lifting of economic sanctions imposed on Tehran by Republican Trump administration we laid the groundwork of broader further negotiations. The largest coral islands in the world have appeared in the shores of Gevash province in Van after the water dried up. These islands can also be called the corals of Lake Van. In the past, divers tried to study the corals found in Lake Van. Since there is such phenomenon in the depths of Lake Van, which are considered a perfect creation of nature, humanity cannot even guess what else may be in its depths. Now let us represent your attention a song by Vahram Tadevosyan. Am
can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.